Hello everyone, this is June 1st, and this is Burke Lyle here. We're recording, so I want to get into yesterday's uh, Dodgers versus Cardinals game, just kind of the thoughts that I had uh, going into the game. So last night we saw quite a great pitching matchup. You saw Jack Flaherty against uh, Trevor Bauer. I mean, Flaherty, the hottest pitcher in baseball during the second half of 2019, had eight wins going into this game. Trevor Bauer, 0-90 ERA in Dodger Stadium. So in the first inning, Tommy Edmond leads off the game with a double, and then he actually tries to seal third with one out, and Paul Goldschmidt is up, but then Edmond is actually out after the challenge. So now there's two outs. So interesting there, you, you get into momentum, and then all of a sudden you, you lose it uh, when the challenge doesn't work out, and then uh, Mookie Betts in the bottom of the first is hit as he leads off with Betts on first. Uh, Cody Bellinger strikes out to end the first inning, so Betts ends up getting stranded. Then in the second inning, Gavin Lux pulls a home run to right field with one out. In the second, then it's one to nothing uh, Dodgers, and Chris Taylor hits a home run to left again. So it's three to one. Came on a three one fastball, two to nothing Dodgers here in the second inning. And then Mookie Betts then walks to lead off the third, but then Flaherty strikes out. Muncie on the slider, and then as Justin Turner comes up. Betts is caught stealing in the inning on a strikeout as well. So strike him out, throw him out, double play. Fourth inning, uh, Nolan Arenado grounds into a 5-4-3 double play that ends the top of the fourth inning. And then uh, Jack Flaherty in the fourth inning strikes out Bellinger on a fastball, Will Smith on a slider, and then Gavin Lux on a fastball, so then he strikes out the side in the fourth inning. Now sixth inning, as we fast forward, Justin Williams hits a home run off the foul pole. And the lead is now 2-1 to one Dodgers. And then Tommy Hedman hits a go-ahead two-run home run off Trevor Bauer. And then all of a sudden, it's now 3-2 to two Cardinals in the sixth inning. Well, Bauer then responds by striking out Aaron Arnold in the inning. So then Jack Flaherty, and I'm surprised here. I thought Flaherty should have stayed in. I thought he had more left in him. He threw 83 pitches, which Mike Schilt knows more about Jack Flaherty in this situation and the strategy than I do. But he went five innings, two hits, two earned runs, one walk, nine strikeouts, but does not return for the sixth inning. In comes Ryan Helsley. And then uh, Max Muncy pulls a double uh, to right center. And then uh, Justin Turner hits a hard ground ball past Arenado. Then that brings in Genesis Cabrera. So at that time, he had 25 appearances and a 175 ERA over a strikeout uh, per inning. Well, he then walks Bellinger to load the bases. And then the game is tied on a Will Smith walk. So back-to-back -back walks makes it 3-3. Three to three. And then Gavin Lux strikes out on a fastball at 99 away. Tried to hit a 99-mile-per-hour fastball. So he's, he ends up throwing a 14th pitch at bat to Chris Taylor. And on the 14th pitch, Chris Taylor clears the bases with a double to right. And the score is now 6-3 to three Dodgers. Cabrera ends up throwing 34 pitches in the inning. So now it's 6-3. to three. Tyler O'Neill hits a home run in the 7th to cut the lead to 6-4. to four. And then Victor Gonzalez comes in in the 7th, two outs in the 7th after Trevor Bauer is pulled, and he strikes out Lane Thomas. Nate Jones gets a quick 9-pitch 8th, and then uh, Gavin Lux hits his second home run of the game in the 8th inning, and it's now 7-4 to four Dodgers lead. As Chris Taylor then hits a double, and then Matt Beatty hits an opposite field double, to make the score eight to four, and then uh, Betson hits a double to make the score nine to four, and the Dodgers ended up winning by the score of uh, nine to five. And you wonder if those teams will see each other in the playoffs. It's hard to say. The Cardinals right now look to be the, look like to be. I'd still say they're favorites to win the Central, while the Dodgers, with the, despite the, the surprise of the Giants, I just don't know if that's going to last. The Giants' success, I feel like they're going to fade in June. And then it's probably between the Dodgers and Padres. So it is June 1st. This is our uh, recording right now.